Yeah, I think you are the light, that's for sure. Yeah? I see the red button, I see a slide. Yay, we are live! Awesome! Hey folks, Jerome Forestwood here over in Jim Deva Plaza of Asif, and we're here, it's nighttime and it's Vancouver. Let's go around, it's Friday night, and we'll see what Vancouver is like on a Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> cool, so yeah, let's head on out. Okay. Woo. Finally out and about on a Friday night with you. On a Friday night, yeah. Definitely. What did we do last Friday night? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, maybe Can I just change. check the audio? Sure. Yeah, awesome. Here we are in Davies Street, folks. And let's see. I can see it's nice and bustling out tonight. I can oh, hear. it's working. Okay, we're good. I don't have to check anything else. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Ah, so of course, it's just checking uh, the audio, making sure it was uh, functioning properly. Yeah. So here we are, Davie Street, in the evening time with a, a, some it's of the- It's an in-between time. The offices are closed. Yeah. No one's really out yet. We are out on a strange, strange time, the in-between time before the party people come out and those who are you know, just go out and explore. Yeah, but we there. also want a party, so. <laughs> I mean, our definition of party doesn't really probably match up with uh, the far majority. Uh, our party means. Uh, oh, yeah, we'll chill out a whole lot out. more. <laughs> but still, it's our time, too. Yeah. We're out and about in Vancouver's Davy Village. Yeah, you very, can see very all strong kinds of people. Gay energy so everywhere. there'll be a lot of people who come to the village on the weekend. They're coming from out of town. They're coming into the area. They'll hang out in a restaurant for a little bit. Yeah. And then head on over to the bar once it gets going. I mean, the restaurants do have a little bit of people out and about. Mm -hmm. The bars have not filled up just yet. Oh yeah. But you know. It'll happen yeah, soon. Like there's nothing over here at the junction yet, but there is folks inside the bar. It's just gonna get busier bar. as night goes by. Yeah, this is just the start. Restaurant Stefos, a Greek restaurant. Mm-hmm. And we'll be having some people uh, lining up over at the pump jack and stuff like that too, trying to get a good seat so that they can just hang out. You know, Local hey man, it's late, area. nice to see you. Hola. Late night adventure for you. It's only, uh, <laughs> what, eight o'clock for us? <laughs> I mean, it is late though. Like, yeah. we don't really go out this late. Rather, like, you know what? Let's Later show people usual. the in between times. Yeah, I wanted to show people what's up. So, yeah, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I love this place. It's such a vibrant South American vibe. That's, of course, Terra Latina, I believe. Oh, the Terra Latina grocery stores? Yeah, they're great. We go in there. There goes an ambulance. Wow. See where it's going. It's going to continue down Davy Street. Oh, it's heading to the West End. Okay. Well, they'll be in good hands, the best hands they can be in. But there I are mean, qualified paramedics, which are awesome, by the way. Not a lot of people out. I mean, as expected, it's 8. It's not 11 at it's night. It's 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> For us, it's like it's it's getting late. For well, like everybody I else, it's I late. was up at four this morning to start my shift. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So That's we're doing true. the best we can because you know if Jerome's going out at eleven o'clock at night, he's probably gonna fall asleep. <laughs> Jerome's gonna fall asleep before eleven o'clock at night. <laughs> Hey, MGM, nice to see you. Hello. Oh, it's the same time over there in LA right now as it is over here. Cool. That's n that is true. Man, this place here too. That's awesome. Of <laughs> course, Gringos, our favorite Oh, yeah, bar. this is one of our favorite places right on over here. Super, super friendly staff. Highly recommended. Yeah. Great place to be. And they do Tex Max too, so they'll do food oh, yeah. all night the long. Food is insane. Mm -hmm. We're in the Davy Village right now in Vancouver. It's a pretty mm -hmm. chill space to be right now because it is that chill. Because not a lot is going on. 
party people are gonna show up later at night. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the local men's stores. <laughs> I don't know if that gets more demonetized. Yeah, we'll, we'll head on down. <laughs> you worry too much about demonetization. <laughs> I know, I know. You have to think about these things in YouTube space, because like, uh, like licensed music playing outside, you cannot. Really oh yeah, I don't worry there, about like, that, because YouTube now has tools. They used to not have tools. Now they give me tools. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's, so I, I can about like, time. I can scrub the audio, and at worst, I just have to mute it for that little section. So. Alcohols at um, Mark. Oh, yeah. Well, that uh, wine store over here closes now, but early. I don't even know how to pronounce that name. It closes early to get the staff out. Yeah. Because the staff wants to come out and party. Yeah, there's a Donair place. We tried the Donair one time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Over here is Donair Kayo. It's quiet right now, but it'll be full in a few minutes. Same with like celebrities. There's like a wave of what's for dinner today? We're thinking about like. Uh, do you think about burgers or Japanese izakaya? We're not sure which one yet. I'll figure it out. That's <laughs> the most Vancouver answer. Oh, uh, we do. were also looking at uh, looking at fried chicken too. So yeah, <laughs> it's, one of, it's one of the three. Anything that just pairs well with like uh, you know a few Friday night drinks. So yeah, yeah, that that's definitely fried chicken. You cannot go wrong with fried chicken. Because we're definitely going out after this. You, like, uh, Fried food in general, you cannot go wrong with like <laughs> fried chicken. That's just the cream of the crop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, but we definitely won't Street. be. Uh, that's number two bus that we would rather take to go back home. Oh uh, yeah, that's the bus we'll catch on the way home. That's a great little bus. Yeah, you just get on 99 from that. And yeah, this place are... like, oh yeah, did the gas increase? Yeah, that was a story in Vancouver. We don't drive, but yeah, <laughs> that's a story. It went from uh, 199 to 218 in some places. Our transit fares have recently gone up by 10 cents. Yeah, that increased too, so we did get impacted. I guess. I've, but I don't know. I th that happened earlier, of course. I don't know if the, this particular change oh, affected it. Oh, they were planning for it. Yeah. Oh, there's a new restaurant open. It's Yolks. Oh, yo, Yolks. Yeah, this is the new breakfast joint. This place will be packed tomorrow morning. I just opened up. Yeah, we noticed that here, last week too Davy when we were around weekend over here. Yeah, oh, it was yeah. just full. But again, like, you do need that very classic breakfast joint, like eggs and bacon just you first thing in the awesome morning. You make awesome classic breakfast. I do make them at home. There's Sushi Imogen over there. Oh, yeah, and isn't that the, the little... Place is packed. No, is that the little market spot with that Yeah, Chinese that's the little... Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. It. There's a little Chinese restaurant tucked in the back there that's super yeah. awesome. Yeah, you're, I, I noticed that uh, uh, other live stream we did like literally yesterday, the day before, or just popped by there. So I noticed that from that stream. Uh, let's go to the other side of the street here. Can we cross the street first? Yeah, there were strange people, so we needed to cross the street. Oh, interesting people? We call them interesting people. Interesting people. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ass is learning. <laughs> He's learning to speak YouTube. <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Interesting. That's the word. And all those transit videos, is that all the, the narration? <laughs> That's why we don't go to the eastern part of the city, because oh. of interesting. Well, East Van's fine. Not East Van, it's between East Van and downtown. That's the no, we don't, think, we don't need to talk about that. Exactly. <laughs> We're not planning on that anyways right now. And uh, yeah. Well, plenty of <laughs> restaurants full of people. And we are headed downtown. Oh, more yeah. People, Over more people, more restaurants. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. Nando's, so this is Davy Street still, but this is the downtown Davy Strip. So we're out of the Davy Village. We're actually in the downtown section. So we were originally starting over in the West End, and then we moved on over here. Nando's, Firecraft. And there's lots of different bars and restaurants out. It's also, is it still ramen out, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. Lots of halal spots where people yeah. are breaking their fast and mm -hmm, stuff. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's going on. Or they're going to restaurants that have uh, halal food or the food that they can eat, but yeah. Okay, anybody in Vancouver right <laughs> now, look at this spot. This is Davy and Howe. So on uh, Friday Davey nights after 9 p.m. and throughout the weekend, you have to board your downtown buses here. Sorry, UBC buses from here. Oh, Anything wow. Anything that go usually goes uses uh, Granville Street will be redirected down here. 
So if you have to go down to south or UBC or anywhere else like Burnaby, you board your buses instead of Granville Street down here on Howe Street after 9 p.m. on Fridays and of course the entire weekend. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, that's true, that's true. So you got to plan that type of stuff out. Yeah, there's a lot of cherry trees around here right now. This is the second type of cherry tree that this. blooms. This and then there's going to be a third type of cherry tree that blooms as well a little bit later. But yeah. most of our cherry trees are almost done, to be honest with you. We had an early bloom this year. If it was a little, uh, if it wasn't not super late and dark, you could actually see so many cherry trees on both sides of the street, magnolias, just like in full bloom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're going to head on down over to Yale Town and do a loop through Yale Town for you folks and then head back up Granville. Busy night for the fire engines. Look at this right here. And you got yeah. another one right on over there too. Wow. Super busy. I mean, yeah. Hey, Henry, nice to see you. This is Henry from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Love we got this place Carolina. here at GM's here. A few other people are here too. It's good to see you. This is the intersection of Granville. Uh, one of uh, our favorite entertainers in the world, Heidi and Closet, is from North Carolina. Ramsur, yeah, North Carolina, to be specific. That's true. Yeah, we love Heidi and we love North Carolina. <laughs> Down, continue to go east on Davy. And the fire engines is just coming with us. With us. I, work with, I actually work with a lot of people for Raleigh, so <laughs> I just realized, oh yeah, Raleigh's in North Carolina too. Wow. <laughs> cool. Again, each state is like a whole country. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some of our provinces would probably fit in one of their big cities. That's true, that's true. Like, Americans have massive cities compared to Canada. An entire province like Saskatchewan or Manitoba has less than like 2 million people. Yeah, we were looking up all the provinces and their different uh, percentages of population for Canada. It was like uh, Ontario, the Quebec, and then uh, British Columbia. So, yeah, yeah, Ontario, the most populous one, followed mm -hmm. by Quebec, BC, and Alberta, which is turning into mm -hmm. one of Canada's fastest growing provinces. Yeah, Alberta is picking up too. We are very fascinated by that. So. In the middle. This is the intersection of Seymour and uh, Davies Street over here in downtown Davies section. It is like literally the transitional time when a lot of the offices and businesses have closed. Yeah, so happy and hour is just finished and uh, the night crowd is just starting to come out. So right now we're getting the nighttime meal crowd. And then uh, after that is the late night bar crowd. They're probably just pre-drinking right now. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you. Well, we are headed down to Yale Town, mm -hmm. so that's one of the spots. That's one of the eating spots. So we'll head on down there. There's a few bars down there too in Yale Town, but uh, yeah, and it's a, there's a lot of restaurants. <laughs> yeah, I mean there are a few restaurants. Some of them are open super late too. So like if you want a late night meal, that's a, that's a place to go. Yeah. This thing by Cactus Club and the uh, Yale Town and gives you pure. Uh, if I compare it again with our previous home, Toronto, with a, like a, a distillery district comparison. Distillery district mixed with a dash of Yorkville. Yeah. True that. It's just uh, Vancouver is so small and compact compared to Toronto, which feels like a little bigger and stretched mm -hmm. out. So it's definitely way smaller and more compact to somewhere like distillery. Uh, it's more like beer garden if it was just like several little breweries and oh, bars. Oh wow, they're selling, the, they're selling the Spanish beers here now. Nice. We have a large Lat Latin population here, so you'll see a lot more Latin stuff here than you see over in Toronto. Oh, that's for sure. Which is, which Unless is you're very, in like, like in Ossington. Yeah, and like there's no there. shortage of Latin people in Toronto. There's just more per capita here in Vancouver. Compared to the small mm -hmm. population size, yes. So we're crossing Richards and we'll keep going down Davy. And we're starting to get real close to Yale Town. So. And Richards, by the way, has a great separated bike paths. You uh -huh. can take this, this all the way down. And this choices grocery store here too that's open up uh, later. Yeah, 
Manus plays like, do you think Toronto is Canada's New York City? <laughs> Toronto is confused. It sometimes feels like it's uh, New York, sometimes it feels like Chicago. At times uh, it feels like Detroit, but I'm going to keep my mouth shut. But yeah. <laughs> Right now, it feels like Detroit. But yeah, for exactly that <laughs> reason. I guess the number six Davy bus. <laughs> but that that is a cutesy, yeah. patootsy tree. And look at all of these trees. Are all these full trees bloom, are cherry trees, yeah. And they're bloom. in full bloom. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. pull up your camera just uh, high enough. To sh these are in full freaking bloom. Uh -huh. Beautiful. <laughs> it's an interesting time to be honest. I think it's nature. interesting that people constantly compare Toronto to New York City. Sometimes they try to compare Vancouver to LA. It's just like two totally different cities. Like yeah. totally. It doesn't make sense. Let's I mean Toronto it. is getting aggressively dirtier uh -huh. just like Toronto. But yeah. Vancouver hasn't gone full uh, San Fan just yet. Are we going this, down here yeah, we're going to cross the street first. Yeah. By the way, see the lights down there. Just so cool. Yeah, just so you get the lights there too. And then they're just, uh, you know, watching just, uh, ourselves at night time. <laughs> Being safe. Vancouver is kind of like Seattle. What do you say about that? <laughs> it is a twin of Seattle, but uh, as many of our uh, friends or people we've met from Seattle would say, Seattle is like, again, American city. Uh -huh. Vancouver is way more Asian. That's the thing they say. There are way more Asian influences up here in Vancouver compared to Seattle. I would say so as well. If you go somewhere like uh, Richmond or Chinatown, it literally feels like um, somewhere, in, somewhere else in the Pacific uh, mm -hmm. coast, mm -hmm. not in Canada. Uh, that I would say. Seattle is way more Americanized. It's like a giant Granville Island kind of a situation, I would say, in a certain way. But, yeah. okay, Diva. <laughs> Diva decided to crash the party. Yeah. But, hey, you, you do you, boo. Just don't run us over. That's food delivery people for you. Again, these lights are beautiful. Yeah, these lights are typically up all year round, so you can come on down here and check out. Apologetically homosexual. I love it. <laughs> okay, so we'll just cross the street here. And there's, of course, uh, mm -hmm. the SkyTrain station. We're crossing mainland, and then we'll cross the, uh, along mainland, and we'll go up on the level here. So here we are over in Yale Town. We're going to go down the main Yale Town strip here. Again, for those Toronto fans, because they do have a lot from my old hometown. This would be a mix between Yorkville and the Distillery District. Okay, and this is the intersection of Mainland and uh, Davie Street. Yeah. So you can see we went down a slight little hill here. It's not hard to climb back up this hill right here. It's very gradual. Um, but other hills around the area can be quite steep, so you got to plan out your route, especially if you're uh, planning to, you know, have fun too, because some of those hills can get really uh, yeah. a little harder to walk after you've had a few wobbly pops. <laughs> the hills are alive with unexpected <laughs> twists and turns. Hey, <laughs> nice to see you. Just saw one of our delivery guys. It says, hey, once in a while. Hey, aw. <laughs> that will meander. The meander sea speed around here. Okay, there are random people <laughs> everywhere who refuse to move, so we'll move. Okay, and right here. <laughs> and uh, here we are. Yeltown. This is Yelltown right here. H&S really opened so a lot up. Of Hanan Supermarket Yelltown. Yeah. It literally opened up like a month or two ago. The, oh, the high-end one? Yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely. There's hey, that little light canopy. Are you lighting too? Yeah. On what channel? Uh, Twitch. On Twitch? Yeah. Cool. I've well, done well, Twitch too. I'm doing yeah. YouTube right now tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's your Twitch channel? Uh, Trem Live. Trem Live? Yeah. Jerome Forestwood. And Jerome Forestwood. Forestwood. Yeah, more on YouTube than Twitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's because they started early. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Talk to you. <laughs> well, another streamer right there. Awesome. That's fun. Yeah, Twitch streamer. Very cool. Yeah. I mean, again, 
these. Uh, beautiful oh, we're gonna places. see a few live streamers tonight. That light canopy over there, insane. Oh yeah, over here. Look at this right here. They got a mini Rodson Square canopy here. Oh, we should check that out too for them. Oh yeah, for sure. So, isn't that cool? We're just passing by meat right now. And again, there's a, a whole um, crowd e -E outside waiting to get in. Oh yeah, these people are gonna, they're looking to go and get gelato over here. This place is so popular. Look at this lineup tonight. Look at that, look at that. All for Mr. right on over here. Ice cream, and gelato, that type of stuff. For perspective people, it mm -hmm. is 10 degrees outside. Yeah, and it's 10 degrees right now. Isn't so you can awesome? imagine what it will be like in summer. <laughs> If people are do, going crazy for ice cream and 10 degrees, imagine what they're doing summer. Look at that Korean pancake house. Oh yeah, the Korean Full pancake. The Actually, it looks packed. There's only it one is. open table in there. So if you're looking to get into the Korean pan pancake house, my pal, then uh, yeah. My pal. Wow, look at this. Yeah, a lot of people. Over here in Yale Town, sometimes it's good to uh, and again, get a reservation the, if you're coming out, especially if you're coming out a little bit later, like after 9 o'clock and you're going to eat. This is dinner crowd. This is not even like yeah. night crowd. This is just the dinner crowd out. It's a Yale Town Brewery. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, we love people are sitting Brewery. down on the patio tonight and they're loving Highly it. Highly recommend you guys get a flight from Yale Town uh, Brewery. They make amazing uh, uh, small craft uh, batch brews. Highly, highly recommend you get a flight and try different ones because that's the way to go. I would always recommend if you are in a brewery, try a flight. Try all the different flavors. Oh, that's yeah. Good. Yeah, you might have to come back a few times because sometimes they have like 16 different if beers. If they have uh, like five different top. IPAs, I want to try every last one of them. Database there is on Manage Plays here as hey. well as uh, Henry and, and MGM. It's good to see you on the stream too. Yeah, the Twitch streamer. He was on uh, he was on a nine bot or a nine bolt, I think it's nine called bot, a scooter. Uh, Segway nine bot. Yeah, Segway nine bot. We're on Helmican. This is Helmican. This is the Helmican patio over here. Look at the umbrellas. Okay, so yeah, they put umbrellas up because it's that type of year. So it's supposed to be part of the cherry blossom festival because <laughs> the umbrellas are the colors of the cherry blossoms. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And a lot of people will just come out here and chill out and chat. Take a break from the bar or meet up with friends in this plaza before they go on out to the bars. Again, people, the nightlife is not even started yet. Yeah. <laughs> if you really want to experience that kind of a nightlife, come here like after 10 p.m. Then you'll see the clubs starting to light up. More people come out. But you can see the amount of people that are coming out at a quiet period of time. And Vancouver's tiny compared to Seattle or Toronto. You this know. is busy. You can yeah, only imagine what would happen us. in summertime when peak cruise uh, season when there will be like hundreds and hundreds yeah, and of people. There's been a few cruise ships and I haven't been able down. to catch them yet though, right? Eh? Yeah. Well, they're every, like again, coming in and they're coming out. Yeah. Real, and again, real, real, every real single quick. time there's a cruise ship docks, mm -hmm, there's like mm -hmm. hundreds of people flood in. So anything and Out and about, outside. yours truly, Lizzo. Nice to see you. Oh Hello. my gosh. Toronto staple on the stream right now. <laughs> Aw, that's cool. nice. Cool. Nice to see you too. Well, welcome to uh, Vancouver and welcome to Yale Town right now. Miss my old hometown. Aww. Thank you for uh, keeping the turf going there. <laughs> Bar, awesome. hello, me. We have Database Era here as well as Manus Play and MJM. And I think I'm missing someone. Henry as well, yeah. So good to see Look you. Look how the busy stream. every single bar and restaurant is right bar now. Bar Holland's open right now. Wow. wow. That's so busy. Every last one of these places, like even this patio, it's the yeah, freshest huh. beer. What's the place? Is it? Red truck. <laughs> Red truck. Yeah. Busy. It's just bumping. That's the Greek. That's the Greek by a totally. Yeah. yeah. And over here, this is the Western. break room. So you can just see what it's like. Yeah. Cheers, Lizzo. Nice to see you too. Hello. <laughs> Angie M says, I'll be there in two weeks. And thanks Ooh. to your videos. You're helping us with our agenda. Well, it's good to help you out. <laughs> well, there's plenty to check out, and we'll still be in peak cherry and blossom season. here's Tacofino. We got people on the patio and people inside. Definitely a must try. Uh, delicious. Okay, so it's gonna get it's gonna get a little quiet for 
<laughs> a stroll because it's Vancouver, it's not Toronto. If it was Toronto, let's show them South city. Robson around the restaurants. We'll, we'll look. Then go over to Gastown, or you're gonna go to and then go down Granville because we can go this way first. Then okay, I just don't want to be in a dead spot for too long. Oh, okay, then we should probably go up the block. Okay, yeah, we are on Nelson, <laughs> of course, which again also has. Great separated bike paths. A very safe option to cycle yeah, around. Yeah, has been to uh, Yale Town two months ago. Oh, that's oh, nice. Cool. <laughs> then MGM's like, you should do tours. Very cool, very, very cool. <laughs> I mean, with the two full-time jobs he has, if he has a, supposedly gets 12 more hours in the day, so yeah, 36 hours. Yeah, exactly, that's true, that's we true. We are literally on a sidewalk, we are at, what's the intersection at? Oh, you just came back from the Trem Dude stream, pretty cool, yeah. It's nice to see other streamers in town. So, yeah. And here's the intersection of Nelson and Hamilton Street. There's there actually one really here. cool bar over here, El Guapo. It's pretty packed right now for dinner time. But there'll be a crowd standing outside, of course, having their cigarettes and stuff later at night. Yeah. We're going to take one of the main thoroughways right now. Up here. Okay. And then bomb down uh, part of Granville for you folks. Yeah. Okay. And then head on over to Gastown. Granville is definitely the party district of Vancouver. Yeah. It's like a mashup between Queen and King Streets of Toronto uh, and a little bit of uh, Church Street. But yeah, that's pretty much what uh, Granville is. Yeah, and the reason we use so many Toronto references is we hey, that's live there. our hometown. <laughs> that's uh, Scarborough is my hometown, which is, I do not, <laughs> I will never ah, call Scarborough, Scarborough never Toronto. Really Toronto I will never Toronto. really call Car ah. Scarborough Toronto. Scarborough, Scarborough. This is the Scarborough, intersection of Homer. And it's Nelson. not Toronto, so yeah. But Let's yeah. be honest, they did used to have their own government, and they still have their parliament. The moment Scarborough <laughs> ceased to exist at its own city, that's the moment its infrastructure started to crumble. All the BS kind of uh, policy changes happened. Anyway, Scarborough forever. Yeah, I like giving Scarborough love. They got some of the best food in that city, let's be uh, honest. Oh, please don't. Please don't. <laughs> On a Friday night, do not remind me of Scarborough, because I can just talk a whole night about all the good food. Uh, and the dearth of Jamaican patties that are oh. not here in Vancouver. You can't even go into a, 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 but you know what? Like we a convenience store. But I you can get empanadas in a convenience store. Yeah. I shouldn't cry too much, because kind of, the kind of food we get here, though, you cannot find in Toronto. The weather is Something awesome Something like here too. deep fried crab from Richmond Public Market, mm -hmm. you do not get that anywhere in Toronto. Yeah, place like Scarborough has great table food. Yeah, exactly. It has you great got it everything. Right. They have something called Guyanese Chinese food, which is insane. It's not insane. even hakka. It's something different, eh? It, it, it's got it's the not hakka. It's actually not hakka. Yeah. Guyanese Chinese food is a food created Unto itself. in Guyana by Chinese immigrants and they develop their own specific flavors over the years. It is nothing like uh, Hakka <laughs> food, it's different. It is sold at Hakka restaurants in uh, Scarborough, but yeah. it's not Hakka. It's like a, you can find some it's of the recipes food. at Lee's, nine, Lee's number one, but like that's pretty much. Yeah, Lee's number one, by the way, in uh, GTA, uh, they also they are actually technically Guyanese Chinese food. They do oh. have that Guyanese menu. Yeah. I love their food. <laughs> Especially that one. one over by the No Frills. I yeah. think it's on Old Scarborough Road. Yeah. Mm. That one's great. I mean, it's almost like the one we have in a. It almost reminds me of the place we have uh, in UBC this is International Street, Food Court. We're yeah. approaching Seymour. You can see we're over by one of the Gold Train Expresses. Oh, yes. This place is more of a late night place. So you'll see people come here around 10 p.m. and start filling it up. Highly recommend their beef noodle. They're really good. Sutturo. I'm Jan saying the walk from David to Yale Town was so fast. Can't wait to walk <laughs> <laughs> to Denman Street, too. Well, yeah, you'll be here. Yeah? It'll be easy for you. Liz is saying Scarborough does have really good restaurants, but the design of the burbs is horrible. Yeah. Too spread out and no cars to cycle there. Too many cars. Yeah, that's true yeah, too. Yeah, true that. This true is that. the intersection of Nelson 
And actually, let's walk up this side. Okay. And now, Sid and Seymour. Yeah. Yeah, it is spread out. It's really spread out. We walked up to Armdale one time. It was crazy. We got off the bus and it was just fields and fields and fields. You literally can take Eglinton, a bus, 34 or something, from one side of Eglinton to another and cross three cities. Yeah. MJM's asking, how far is the walk from Vancouver City Centre to TNT Supermarket? Depends. Uh, if you're talking about uh, Ch Chinatown... Uh, the Chinatown one's 10 to 15 minutes. minutes. Yeah. But again, you can literally take a SkyTrain down there. Uh, the TNT uh, yeah. uh, Superstore in Chinatown, uh, Stadium Chinatown is right next to Stadium Chinatown SkyTrain Station. You just get out of Vancouver City yeah. Centre Station, you walk over to Granville Station, yeah. you go... Uh, one station two, over, sto two stations. Two stations, yeah. yeah, yeah you Granville go to Burrard and then to mm -hmm. Stadium Channel and Skytrain Station. You literally get out of Skytrain Station and TNT is uh, right there. Yeah. It's on your Google map. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Here's oh, yeah, right, Hotel yeah. Belmont. This is one of our local uh, places that's a hostel slash hotel slash restaurant and bar as well. There's a bar the living room here. And this is the pink part. That's where the living room is. It's still the touristy crowd, but not the party crowd. The party mm -hmm. crowd hasn't uh, come out just yet. And there's several other hostels around this area yeah. too. So you can keep your eye live out over here. They have live yeah. music. They're having a private event tonight, eh? What? Work? Let's walk down this side. So this is the intersection all of Nelson, Nelson and Granville. And Granville. Look at this. We're diagonally across from Flamingo Cafe. We should probably like, what do you want to do? Come down here and then loop back? Let's just, yeah, take a circle around Granville first. Okay. Cool. Or we wanted to go to Gastown, right? Yeah, so you Let's can go to Gastown. Let's go to Gastown. Do you want to past... cross across the street or stay on the side? Stay on this stay side. Stay on this side. On this side. Yeah. There's one little boy stretch over here. Yeah, that music really loud over there. Yeah. Let's keep talking over that right now. <laughs> Liz is saying, I just explored a bit of Scarborough Chinatown and it's huge. Looks like the hot pot, hot pot is popular there. I um, will not go to a restaurant and cook my own food. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of those over here in Vancouver I mean, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> hot pot's everywhere. Hot pot's good. It's, uh, it, beyond that, you have there's so much more. Yeah, so much more. I'd rather. I'm with Lizzo on that one. I don't like to cook my own food. I like my food cooked for me if I go to a restaurant. Yeah. But like, if hot pots are jam, hot pots are jam. So some people like, like that stuff. So <laughs> I remember well, there there's used to plenty be... more to try in Scarborough and all around GTA, just yeah. like in Vancouver. Right next door, we have Ardennes. Oh, sorry, Japa Dog. Oh, no, no, <laughs> this is downtown hot dog, not a Japa Dog. Japa Dog is the one that you see on which street is it? Yeah, on? just asking. Hey, how's Robson. It going? Japa Dog's on Robson. I'm right, just walking along the strip right on over here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then the downtown core, lots of different competing forms of music. That's good for us. Yeah. <laughs> they cancel each other out. <laughs> is this downtown Vancouver? Yeah, this is downtown Vancouver for you. This is our Young Street, Granville Street. Um, uh -huh. There is a lot of our streets like that. Our local buskers. Buskers are having a great time. Uh, being awesome. And of course, there's an Irish pub right here, sports bar. Yeah, this is Dublin Collin. <laughs> And there's, of course, our latest glory and achievement, the Popeyes in downtown Vancouver. Yeah, so this is the, I'll show you the Popeyes in a sec. This is the intersection of Smythe and Granville. Yeah. Okay. And you can see the Popeyes over on that side right there. That's new for us. It used to be a staple when we lived in Toronto. Now it's like brand new again for us over here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so many, so many neon signs. It's a very Vancouver thing. Like here's the Orpheum okay. Theater sign right here. The entrance is over on Seymour Street and uh, Smythe Street. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Liz had just subscribed. Well, thank you very much for the subscription. Oh, <laughs> that's appreciated. People very cool. Waiting yeah, the Pearl. Yeah. This space stays 
closed until the weekend and then it just opens up giant bar inside so definitely a place and over here is the legendary columnar ballroom that's where a lot of bands uh get their start before they go really big yeah so yeah that's it what's on the sidewalk it's like a vancouver hall of fame yeah just there like you would see in toronto names. You get yeah. Carl Norman, music, <laughs> who's George Zuckerman? Fraser McPherson. So just people that are over here, like more West Coast names that you'd be more familiar with if you lived over here. Drew Burns, Brian Adams, Bruce Allen, Michael Bublé. Oh, Michael Bublé. I love Michael Bublé. Yeah, Michael Bublé is right here. Yeah. Brian Adams <laughs> right there. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's good to see. Yeah, you don't really notice when you're going by. Nickelback's right here, Michael J. Fox, Sarah yeah. McLaughlin. <laughs> ah, that's cute. There's so many folks, so many folks. Yeah. And of course, some of the shops are still open too at this point in time, so you can come on over here. Yeah, there's bowling down here too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Commodore. Commodore, Commodore Bowl, yeah. It's almost like a... a Something oh, that's welcome, literally out of the uh, TV show Cheers. It literally looks like that. Mm -hmm. I've been down there. Um, yeah, it literally looks out of Cheers or something. And of course, the great part about this is they already have the cops out over here and they help really keep the peace. So thank you, Vancouver PD, for being yeah. awesome. <laughs> well, they actually close up most of the street around 9 p.m. Yeah. This place just becomes like a pedestrian only. And just people chill out, have a great time. Here's the, the Lanix district. pub. This patio will be full in an hour or so, and yeah. it's just starting to fill up right now. It is now. Robson. Let's just go down here for a second. You want to do a loop down here? Yeah, let's just show them Japa Dog and everything yeah. because it's just that's where people would go down from the clubs and bars and just have a quick grab of food. And you can also see in here in the Lennox Club, there's plenty of people in right now enjoying themselves. And there's live music about yeah. to get ready. The musician there getting ready. Well, yeah. It is one of those places you get some really good live music. Yeah, so this part of Robson Street is like an extension of the Granville Entertainment District. That's and what they call it, the Granville Street Entertainment to block District. Our yeah, you just gotta walk around. Shame on PV 054 V. Right, because they had to wait back a little bit. Yeah, they shouldn't have been over the sidewalk. That's true. <laughs> you, you do not block someone's way. You know that person? Well, go on out and just care for once. Make fun of them and be like, we saw you in sloppy driving skills on Jerome Park. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Hunter, nice to see you. Hello. I'm Jam saying, I was there the day after the snowstorm a couple of months ago. Oh, 10 wow. degrees Fahrenheit, so that's like minus two. And uh, today is amazing with lots of different stuff, yeah. Yeah. That's so. a Robson and Seymour for you? Yeah, that there's a little is a kayak up there. This we'll is just... the... Uh, no, not yet. Oh yeah, we'll just now, wait. This is of course the single way road you take if you want to connect to Highway <laughs> 1. Uh, so if you take Granville Bridge, this is gonna tear down here. Yeah, Hunter's saying it's 12.03 a.m. in uh, Hunter's area. You're having hash browns right now. Hash browns are good. I had hash browns today Aww. too. You put them in the sandwich, right? Halal guys in New York staple that does have locations in yeah. Toronto as well. Yeah, it's nice. Again, this place is open till 12 a.m. So it's going to fill so up it later. It started off as food truck in New York City. And now look at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Paramount, more halal food for folks, <laughs> I guess. They have like iftar platters and stuff. Lizzo saying, I would like to take the Via Rail to Vancouver and capture the Rockies. Well, oh, that would, that be, would be amazing. That would be awesome if you do amazing. that, yeah. This Belgian is Chaos waffles. Belgian Wobble here. And they're right next to Rollsy. Again, Rolzy. delicious Kati rolls Kati we had rolls. there. Uh, chili chicken, uh, tandoori, yeah, and what else? Yeah, you can check out what the food yeah. is like over here in, in uh, Delicious Kati Rolls. Rolzy. I do a review of that place. And, and then here's Japa Dog. Japa Dog, which is a this Vancouver This is legendary. Staple. Yeah. Legendary restaurant right here. Show you the little, little this is little the menu. first Japa Dog their, uh, They started it as a street cart over in all Seattle. All sorts of crazy, crazy, crazy hot dogs. Yeah. Uh, there's a person who wants to go in. Let them go in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's of course a Vietnamese Bami shop which is close uh -huh. by the way already. 
falafel and the shawarma shop right next door. The kebab shop, I think this one's Lizzo Turkish. Lizzo wants it's to all... go on Vio Real to the Rock using 24 hours. Okay, well, cool. I don't Come know if the, uh, I don't know if Via Real runs that fast. That would be an expensive fast. ticket. Also, hey. you gotta know uh, if Via Real is actually running, though, because uh, for a few months of the year, aren't they closed? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, no. Well, the Vancouver 8 sometimes closes because it gets snowed out in the mountains. Yeah. So that's something to check out. And anyways, Lizzo, if you do have, if you do head on over here, give them a... I Give highly recommend you we film that, Lizzo. Yeah. yeah, I would love to watch come out, that. Come on out to Vancouver. Yeah. Connect with me. My email address is in my profile and yeah. on YouTube. And you can just uh, we can would come love out to for watch those videos if you ever do that kind of yeah, thing. Amazing trip. Yeah. Stuff. She's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. <laughs> no, lol. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Toronto's Lizzo's game. <laughs> <laughs> Again, yeah. A more delicious delicious food yeah there's there lots of 24-hour restaurants over here it took Memphis me a while Blues to learn which one barbecue ones. spot our favorite uh, yeah southern this is one of spot. our favorite southern barbecue spots right here oh so. we love some good pull pork well, delicious crummy beef there right now yeah again you can see yeah, uh, I actually good usually hunter. order something yeah, like uh, Memphis <laughs> Blues or like Kinto Ramen, which you find everywhere in Canada. Have you tried the IKEA hot dogs? We lived on the IKEA yeah, yeah, hot dogs yeah. when they opened the downtown spot over in uh, Toronto. Over in Toronto, and we were still living in Toronto. Yeah, we definitely mm -hmm. tried IKEA hot dogs. We tried their uh, froyos and everything, <laughs> which is also pretty iconic. <laughs> this is like who's walking with you. <laughs> it's this guy. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Nice to see you. <laughs> Give us a call if you're in town. But yeah, this is Asif from Go Go Go. He does transit videos. <laughs> and we're just walking around. Uh huh. Just give us a flip it back around. There you go. <laughs> Liz is gonna share her live link, our live link on Discord. Thanks. That's helpful. Pelicano chicken. I. This is one of those places that we always what is watch. This? It. this is Korean. Korean. Yeah, they're just finishing the up Filipino for the night. They'll do a few takeout season. orders and then that's it for them. They're more of a lunch spot. Let's loop back now. Yeah. That's, of course, the library around there, I believe. Oh, no, well, is no, that one library is right next to us. Oh, right sorry, over yeah. here. Right, yeah. We'll walk past the library. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're just walking down the light. We're going to turn back and go back to the busy section now. So. <laughs> oh no, this is that literal BC place where you'll probably see Taylor Swift's Eras concert tours. Yeah, no, right here. Taylor Swift is going to be in there in and uh, December. And so is right? the FIFA 2026 World Cup, which oh, Vancouver yeah. is one of the host cities. So, BC place, this is another uh, spot, folks. have. A That's uh, where Denmark. BC Lions play, as well as their Vancouver Whitecaps. That's their soccer team. Actually, really football, but you know. North America. And we'll the rest call of the it world. soccer. We are being uh, accepting of North American <laughs> language. <Yeah. laughs> Let's keep going here. And that's uh, <laughs> Vancouver's public library building. Mm hmm. So here's the public library building. You can't really see too much of it right now. It's dark. Yeah, it's dark. It, it is quite an impressive. It's an building. architectural feat. Yeah, that's all for me. <laughs> That's a bunch of guys in there just getting ready. They're filling up with their pizza first, and they are gonna uh, go out for the night. Everybody has their pre <laughs> pre drinking or pre binging uh, uh, ritual. Some people like to carve up oh, ahead that of pizza, time. That pizza like, sandwich you made last time tonight, that was awesome. Last time we walked Pepperoni up Davy Street, then I drank beer and I got super drunk because I was thirsty AF, and all I had to do drink was beer. So I just Wrong. So it makes sense if somebody is here's, uh, here's a library over here for you folks. This it's library is a huge has been, building. Been uh, on uh, a bunch of different science fiction I shows. I did that one. Yeah, that's a theater over there, eh? Yeah. <laughs> We're then? under Cosmos is here. Good to see you. Out Aww, and about. Hey. Yours truly is here. MJM's here. Hunter's here. Manus Plays here. Uh, <laughs> Henry's here and MJM's here too. Good to see you. Hopefully I didn't forget anyone else. <laughs> Try my best. What time is it here right now? It's Just close to 8.30, 9? Close to 8.30, yeah, 9 o'clock. I, right I don't know. It's Let me check. Late. It's 
It's 9.10, not bad. Not super late. Are we going back this way or that way? We'll head up this way. For sure, we are mm -hmm. back on... We are back on the... Which street are we on? Robson. <laughs> Robson, Robson. Robson. Yeah, we walked up on... I was like, are we still on Davy? I was confused for a quick sec. Oh, you have all the streets over at UBC memorized. So. I, I, I was just having my little blonde ah. moment. <laughs> so this quest, the section over here, it's a little quiet. Like There's the Tim Hortons is closed. 24 that type hours of things. actually. That was closed right now. Are they? It says 24 hours. But, it looks huh? quiet as heck. Mm. Quiet as heck. So I guess they are not 24 well, hours anymore. Sometimes they'll be 24 hours and then they won't be 24 hours. You I know don't know. What that I mean? sounds uh, sus. It's vicious. just a science of the times. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Richard Street again, <laughs> the same street. Do you get a great separated bike path? Again, we're going to stop right yeah. now because the light's changing. So this is Richard Street on over here. We'll head on back to the busyness of Granville. Again, if when you have something like great separated Look bike path, that's just Kingston an awesome way there. just to skip through busy downtown streets. And again, Vancouver yeah. being one of those places with the worst drivers in all of Canada, you want to be in a great separated situation with bikes. Yeah, totally. That's totally. for sure. I'm going to pass by one of these awesome little restaurants over here. They got yeah. the heater lamps there right so now. So streets like Comox, uh, mm -hmm. Richards, uh, some parts of Nelson, they're uh, great separated, yeah. so you just go shoot around the city. Yeah. Even if you go to a bridge like Camby Bridge, for instance, great yeah. separated. Hey, so if you haven't hit that like button yet, hit that like button. It helps shoot the video out to more people, uh, as well as the live stream. So, you know, that like button really, really helps. And if you want to subscribe and hit that notification bell, that also doesn't cost any money. So, go for it. Yes, why not? This is Genia, Genia Ramen Bar. Who doesn't and like a cutie patooties of the YouTubers? <laughs> Help your YouTubers. Make mm -hmm. them break on content. <laughs> Watch these uh, awesome ass cities. Yeah. <laughs> it's 9.10 Vancouver time, yeah. Uh, Hunter's like, what hash browns are your favorite? McDonald's or Tim Hortons? Uh, Mickey's. Yeah, I'll be, anyway. I'll be having McDonald's probably tomorrow. Like Burger King ruined Tim Hortons, but that is one of the most Canadian tropes ever. Because yeah. every single Canadian loves to bitch about how Burger King ruined Tim Hortons. <laughs> but yeah, McDonald's is the way to go, I just don't have much Tim Hortons over here because there's like waves and blends and trees yeah. and matchsticks also so many we make other hash coffee brown. shops we yeah. don't make them make them we buy frozen hash browns and we just mm, cook them yeah those ones are good too the ones you can get from the grocery yeah. store i mean hash browns are an awesome mm -hmm. uh, vegetarian substitute for like a meat patty or a sandwich or a burger so yeah, yeah i use it all the time how about a and w hash browns haven't had them in a while yeah. but there's lots a and of a and w's here I don't so. think I've ever walked into an A and W consciously as a decision. Like, I'm walking into A and W to buy food. Yeah, unless it's not I really, really my need, choice. Unless I really need to use a, a washroom at the go and I have no other options, I'd probably <laughs> go into an A and W. Otherwise, yeah, no. <laughs> Two restaurant chains I don't really care much about. The first one is right here, Five Guys. That's not, the worst burgers in anywhere in North wow, America. That's what you say. Lots that is of people my opinion. Like it, so they're my obviously personal doing opinion. Right. I do not vibe with Look Five that. Guys. There's and the second one is right A and W. Oh, there's lots of people in there right now. They're just not good. Might as well get their sack of peanuts because their food is not that good. I think I should good. buy you Five Guys sometime so you can try it again. <laughs> and do a live uh, reaction of yeah, me getting disappointed. Yeah, live reaction video. <laughs> How, the, like the joy of eating a burger, then the passion just you know, dripping out of my they eyes do it and the sadness over here. engulfing my face. Like, it's really the young street oh, around you. Look at that you know? bus <laughs> turning. Oof. That is such a cute moment you just captured that bus turning. And that is like, a do you remember list. Sears? Yeah. Yeah, I remember Sears. I was around when Sears was big. Yeah, Sears now closed gone. before I showed up in this now country, it's gone. so yeah, it's gone. Nordstrom is gone. That replaced Sears. Yeah. <laughs> what? Diva. She got her taxi. That works. Cool. <laughs> that is such a New York. Here we are too. in Granville Street again. Back in the downtown strip. Sounds like you got a few buskers in the neighborhood too. Yeah. Yeah. So that is again where you get on a bus if you are heading to UBC, South Vancouver, <laughs> Richmond, Burnaby. 
there are buses for every single direction. Oh, yeah, there. the bus goes over there right now. Oh, yeah, right next to VCC station, Vancouver City Center. Yeah, very, very close. He's going to get lots of people walking by, just giving them a change. It's a good little location yeah. to be at. So. We never really do this. <laughs> we never really walk around like this on a Friday night. We are usually very tired. Today, somebody decided to take a nap, so we yeah. had a little bit more time later in the day. Again, work well, super hard Hudson early Bay's in the day. up ahead. Didn't know that Eaton's is over here. But then again, <laughs> last time I lived here was 21 years ago, and the city's changed a bit. Here's one of my favorite places. Fat burgers, delicious wings. Oh, where Nordstrom was. Very cool. Delicious chicken wings. Yeah, and good burgers, too. <laughs> um, yeah, Very good burgers cool. are great. Very cool, Hunter. I personally love this fried know. chicken sandwiches from Download Chicken mm -hmm. or Frying Pan. They're insane. I don't know, for some reason, I have really haven't had a burger craving in Vancouver, honestly. No, that's because they have so much good fried no, chicken. No, no, fried and other chicken stuff. is way better. The fried chicken game is on point. Yeah. Like, yeah. Vancouver. Well, they do say, like, they said that in, like, our version of Blog TO, which is uh, Vancouver is awesome, okay? So they say that we have an addiction to fried chicken here yeah, in Vancouver. This is the it's thing true. Though. It's true. Vancouver's burger game is weak, but fried chicken game, chicken sandwich game is insane. Toronto, Here's complete reverse. You won't find that many Georgia great uh, fried chicken sandos down there. Yeah, this is one of the burgers. busiest intersections during the daytime because this is where all the buses come. There's a subway station right over there for the SkyTrain, and there's another one down here. We are across the yeah. street from the great colonizer, Hudson Bay Company. Yeah, Woodward's is in Vancouver, BC. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the Robert Simpson department store was from Toronto. Yeah? Hmm? Yeah, if, you, if my memory serves me right, yeah. <laughs> very cool, very, very cool. We're passing by the Hudson's Bay right now. It's still holding on right now, but... Uh, there's been talks about it staying open, talks about Let it closing. Let the colonization crumble to its own feet. <laughs> I have no empathy for this. The world Let is changing. Da, da, da. <laughs> Turn it into an ind indigenous uh, education center. That's all I care about. <laughs> well, that's what they did oh, over in, in, Winnipeg. Yeah, in Winnipeg. yeah. Oh, yeah. I fully advocate give this Hudson Bay Company space to Hudson's our First Nation the, people. I don't want colonizers people. to be mm -hmm. out here taking up this much space in downtown Vancouver. <laughs> it's just, it's and nobody awesome. really goes down there regardless. I Nobody's I don't really for, go into uh, here. Hudson's if I'm going to go somewhere, I'm going to go across the street here to the CF Pacific Center. Lots of Canadian actual yeah. events. So, to be honest with you. Granville Station <laughs> is, is one of those places you would take if you want to go down to Stadium Channel. And hey, Morgan's is from mind. Montreal. Yeah. <laughs> On to uh, Rue St. Catharines, yeah. <laughs> oh man, those old department stores, yeah, they are a thing from the past, let's be honest now. These uh, are like, um, imagine mm -hmm. in the early 1900s, they were literally the Amazon of early 1900s. Uh, so we had a few. They literally had catalogs, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. We had a few stores closed along this strip here. But uh, it looks like they're renovating them, and some people are thinking about coming in. So it's a good thing. The city's going to change a bit. The Judith Charles hang on, so that was really good. So I have to admit. Oh, Judith. Judith, thank you for hanging on hey, there. Hey, grandmas have somewhere to go and shop, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Respect for grandmas. Jesus Christ. <laughs> if grandmas need it's a particular... not just grandmas. What are you talking about? I mean, if anybody who's not 70-year-old buys their clothes from there, we they need to have a hard look in into their inner being and their inner workings. There's a lot of older people in the city who have money. If you're not 70-year-old <laughs> and you're buying your clothes from there, you need to have a hard this is look at the intersection yourself. of Dunsmuir and uh, Granville Street. Holt Renfrew is across the street here. We're going to head on over to uh, Gastown now. So we're just a few blocks away. People are starting to bring their cars out here. What the actual. Somebody I have no just idea got off that car in the middle of the street I right have no here. No idea what they're War doing. Diva. <laughs> you gotta love those Vancouver drivers. <laughs> Worse in all of Canada, right here. Uh, have a good night, Hunter. Hunter's going to bed. <laughs> Aww, have a good one.
Yeah, it's late over there. I understand. <laughs> I mean, it's not super late, but it is kind of late. It's 9 oh, plus thank PM. thank you. <laughs> it's, it's late where Hunter is. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very cool, though. Thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah, we will have a good weekend. Oh, this place is so chill. It, it was probably... 20, 30 times busier what? a couple of hours ago. Granville, right now. Oh, this street. stretch of Granville? This is yeah. the education stretch of Granville. So there's a couple of language schools on this strip, as well as uh, in the... Some retail shops, some yeah, restaurants. Yeah, and Simon so Fraser University is the graduate school at the corner here. So it's a little quiet, but once you get down past this, yeah, there it'll are start like picking these up little again. colleges that are like, this little building is a college for some reason. Yeah. But like it's here. It's a language college. VGC International College. Yeah, it's a lot of those people that come from out of town, they work on their language skills first, and then they go to university or college, you know? So that's Another how it's all about. Another super old building. That is, of course, the SFU mm -hmm. building. You were talking about BD yeah, well, School of Business. we're walking through here. Yeah. While Siegel we're walking through Graduate here, school of if business. you want to support the channel monetarily, of course, you can... Uh, hit that uh, monetary sign, the dollar sign for me in the YouTube panel and uh, send us a super chat or super sticker. If you're watching the recording, you can hit the heart sign with the monetary symbol and you can send us a super thanks. And then I also take donations directly through Interact eTransfer to my email address, jforster yeah. at gmail.com. So those are some ways you can help support the channel. Uh, awesome. Spender in Granville. Yeah, and if you're part of that 31% of people that's a, a regular viewer and you've already subscribed, well, thank you very much. If you're part of that 69% of people that are regular viewers that uh, haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything, and then you can get notifications when we're, uh, you know, doing our live streams and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't always tend to announce them in advance. It looks like there's something going down at the trees tonight, something good. Like a live musician. Yeah, there's a musician in there. Ooh. Very cool. I didn't know they did live events this there. Is a expo light entrance to Waterfront Skytrain Station. Mm -hmm. Keep heading on down here. So you just got to go one more block and we're on West Cordova and that'll take us over and into Grasstown. And we'll pass by our Union yeah. Station, Canada which Place is Waterfront is right Station. Over a block away. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's right near. Oh, waterfront. Let's just stop right here right now. Yeah. We are at okay. West Hastings. Yeah, so this is West Hastings. This is one look of the economic centers. And you can even see the observation. Oh, there. yeah. Look at these lights. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so cool. The buildings are lit. Mm -hmm. And that's, of course, Sinclair Center diagonally across the street. That is another old tiny building Sinclair with a center. clock tower. Mm -hmm. so, isn't that awesome? Look at that old architecture. That's awesome. That's great. This is the kind of art deco that was completely demolished yeah. from most of North America. That's the uh, West Hastings Street right there. Like, yeah. you have we don't get this in my old art deco hometown buildings. anymore. Yeah, much. three art deco buildings in this uh -huh. intersection right here. Granville and West Hastings. <laughs> Insane. Insane. So we're just waiting for the light to change. It is a little bit longer over here just because this is a... Yeah, it can become a pretty and busy street. And it is a street. transit intersection too. Yeah. So buses and uh, uh, yeah, turn here all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I had this random weird experience uh, crossing this yeah. intersection and this the bus came in. And again, the worst driver situation goes beyond just, you know, regular people driving. Yeah. So when we say worst drivers, it's because CBC and CTV News both rated Vancouver as having the worst drivers in all of Canada. Regular so, Canadians also voted. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's, the, that's the source. <laughs> right there. We're not lying. We didn't make that up. Something not, might be going on. Construction. It. Cops have closed off uh, that access of West Cordova. I think there might be a construction or is there? Interesting. Or something worse. Because, you know, worse things can happen from time to time. It is a city in North America, so... But, yeah, yeah let's be cautious and see what's going on. Uh, no, it just looks like the road's closed for construction. construction. Yeah, yeah it's not a bad closed. thing over here. They're laying out cones. They're laying down some new asphalt over uh, just a block up. Let's cross on the other street. Side of the street. Yeah, so this is the intersection of West Cordova and Granville Street. 
and we're just waiting for the light to change. And there is of course waterfront uh, station. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. uh, take two different sky trains: Canada Line, Expo Line, West yeah, Coast Express this is train. This waterfront station on over here. This is our Union and station, sea ferry. folks. And helipad. Yeah, there are the sea ferry terminals in here as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And a helipad. Fly away, bird. Fly well, the helipad's away. like uh, a little walk away from the base of the sea and ferry terminal. So but it's connected right to it's, the Yeah, you can walk to it. Yeah, you can directly walk to it. You got to step outside. It's not all indoors. Yeah. But that's Vancouver for you. Weather's so good. Not all Look of your Look at this connected. little bit of the street from here. Yeah. So you know, is, the, Toronto has that uh, uh, iconic little uh, corner building. Vancouver yeah, has a that's our too. that's our giant ironworks building right on over there. Yeah. <laughs> right lots of tall of buildings all around. Giant buildings, lots of lights. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, Waterfront is so dead. It is, of course, 9.30, so the office crowd is gone, gone, gone. The bar crowd has already come on down. So it's just the party crowd coming in. Down, uh, I down. bet, you know, yeah. there's a bunch of people down over in, uh, over in uh, Gastown. Yeah. This isn't too far Sky away. Skytrain Station is super quiet right now, that's for sure. Very chill vibe around. Mm-hmm. Of course, Busker's doing an awesome Local job. Busker's. <laughs> Uh, so we stay in Metallica right now. <laughs> yeah. I do want to tell people one of my favorite spots in the entire city of Vancouver is actually right in front of yeah, us. Yeah, it's going to be black right now. But I know, yeah. but like just to show you, there's a parking lot. You have the most insane views. The insane mountain oh. views, yeah. Sky, you know, this is mountain views. You have views of... To the harbor, Vancouver's harbor, port authority, port, Vancouver port, you get a little stuff. bit of sky train. Mm -hmm. Right here, look. Mm -hmm. Look at mm -hmm. some of the views, some of the lights, insane. Yeah, there's the port authority and everything else there. And you can see the crazy ski mountain hills views over on there. top with a random bit of uh, flickering light. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's check this out. Check this out. You can see like floating lights right here at the top. That's a ski hill on top yeah, of the right mountain. Yeah, right there. Those are ski hills, right? <laughs> Crazy, eh? There's lots of people coming out of Gastown right now, eh? There's, of course, a Steamworks Brewing Company right in front. We've had their beer. It's good. We yeah. haven't ever had beer over here, but we've had, had their beer. It is good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I like their Imperial Stout when they make it. They make it in the winter time though, because it warms your body up. <laughs> One of my favorite places, of course, is also Stanley Park Brewing Company. Uh, their beer is delicious. Oh yeah, over right directly Tree Hopper, at Stanley Park. Yeah, that's amazing awesome. Amazing brews, amazing brews. That's awesome. Highly recommend. There is, of course, the official Vancouver Whitecaps official store down here. Busker, working hard. Local Busker in the neighborhood, folks. Yeah, here is our city's official soccer team's uh, store. <laughs> And this is beautiful. This Gastown. is Gastown for you at nighttime, folks, with all the lights and everything. Isn't this awesome? Insane. So beautiful. This it has this old European charm to it. It is the oldest part of Vancouver. This is it where Gassy is. Jack started his bar. Right. Okay, and then all of a sudden, you know, everything else started to form around it. All the way back in the day when this was a sawmill town. And even up until the 1960s, Vancouver was very, very industrial. Yeah. It was like the Wild West. <laughs> it wasn't built up like it is now. It just uh, all of a sudden started making a transition in the 80s to a little bit more infotech and tourism as well. And areas like this that were somewhat industrial, we went real touristy. Yeah. The same thing at Granville Island. And then uh, the industrial areas just spread out to other places, like around Joyce Collingwood and, yeah, and that type of stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. It and is. you're surrounded by Buzzing. dozens and dozens of heritage buildings. In yeah, Vancouver. this has got lots of heritage buildings. The Hudson Bonk. House, but there's like yeah, little this information. Is, well, this is Hudson's house. house right here. This is your local tourist place. This yeah, I was just reading the plaque, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bars are a little further down, so we'll pass on by. Head on down to the bars right now. See what's going and on down in Maple Tree Square, right as they call it. It actually is going to go off. It's 9.30. It's 9.30, right? It, it, it should already be. went off. 
It did it? Did it yeah, nine, it already went off. It's 9.30. It should go off now now. <laughs> or is it off the clock? It's off the clock. Because if it's 9.30, it should go off now. <laughs> Why aren't you working? Why aren't you working? Oh, it's currently under maintenance. Look. Look, the steam clock is currently under maintenance. It says Aww. it right there. So obviously it's not going to go off. We hope to get it back up and running soon. I told you they'd come out and fix it. Yeah. I guess. Mm -hmm. It was broken for a bit. And again, one of the reasons we say this is the worst city or drivers in all of Canada, because mm -hmm. they literally ran from anywhere. Jesus F. Christ. <laughs> so this little stretch right here gets again quiet, but then the bars are down at the other side. Yep. Also, the place, the reason you come down here at night is also just for this wonderful walk in the lights. There are lots of little chill places too, like, like, Kid Ace. Kid Ace is a oh, store. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> it's a store? Why does it have a logo? Or what am I confusing it with something else? You're confusing I'm it confusing with another something cafe. Else. Yes. Yeah. So a lot oh, yeah, of the, the cafe is close to a cafe. Uh, Kitsume. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But the local at the end of the strip is going to be open. All that stuff. Also, on the other side, there's a school, the Vancouver Film School. It's absolutely huge for a school, so that's also the reason why. It's a little more quiet right here on this certain section. You gotta head down to Maple Tree Square and Carroll Street and, and uh, Gastown to get on over to the busier bar areas. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there are options everywhere. If you wanna have a chill moment uh, away from the busy bar district, Gastown's a great place. It's kind of pricey compared to some of the other spots. Yeah, Yale Town, I would say nicer but also than the same price range come you slightly see, more like, affordable buskers are out here tonight they're waiting for the crowds to come you know the crowds are coming because people are get, gearing up like the bars restaurants they're getting ready mm -hmm. like they're like okay mm -hmm. it's about to hit 10 11 any moment soon and people are just gonna flood in so look at this look at this they have little tables out right now not a lot of people in but yeah the cozy little crowd over here at brioche look at this right here there is folks in here. <laughs> Very cool. Little French uh, restaurant. Uh, Sicilian style restaurant. And they do huh? all a Sicilian. Yeah. Ah. Chef is from Sicily at least. Cool. Over here, this is a new hot dog stand. I haven't seen this one out here yet. Oh, wow. Very, Very cool. cool. Look at this, new brand new hot dog stand. Lamp light Come on down here, the, give this guy some business if you're in the area. And More over here, now over. we're at the bar scene. Yeah. You can see the lamp lighter across the street on over here. <laughs> Children. <laughs> Their bros got excited all of a sudden. You're like, there's Jerome doing his live stream. <laughs> it's cute, they love to be here. Uh, there's a lamp lighter right there for you. They'll have live music in there tonight. So that's the hangout place. Oh, uh, look, the uh, falafel place is open. The kebab place. Oh, uh, yeah, and that's also a wrap place right on over there. That's look, a they staple. were closed earlier. They opened up for the late night crew. So the girls oh, yeah. were going to just come up. They work uh, all night long. But apparently. you won't find them earlier in the evening. Yeah, they're also they're a lunch place for the Vancouver Film School. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see it get really busy over there. Now you yeah, can see the people, people starting to coming. pick up. Mm -hmm. People are literally Now starting there is a bit of construction in. down here. They're redoing the square. Well, about time. Summer is around the corner. Yeah. Lots and lots of people are going to come Just in. passing the old spaghetti factory right on over here. That's busy inside, yeah? Mm -hmm. You yeah. can tell the patio is going to get filled up yeah. soon. Same thing as you'd have on over in Toronto. It is a bit of a chain. A national chain. <laughs> I just assume that spaghetti they sell isn't old, it's actually fresh spaghetti. And the name is only limited to the actual establishment's name. Old. If spaghetti. I told you it's old aged spaghetti they're selling. I mean what if me? this is like a like <laughs> fermented or aged spaghetti? They yeah. like uh, ferment their spaghetti, have all forms of like uh, exotic things grow off of it and then make spaghetti of that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just painting with my own imagination. We can also walk through this little garage thing, right? We'll walk back to do that. Yeah. 
Of course, the square lit up. I'm gonna walk on over where the folks are over here at the local. Yeah. And this patio is gonna be buzzing. It's not as big because yeah, of the construction. Inside is busy yeah, already. this is a local Mexican restaurant right here. Coquina you can see Mexicana. it's quite busy. This is the same one we used to enjoy in Toronto. Yeah, Coquina Mexica. Yeah, yeah. definitely. This is, was the one on Peter Street. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh wow! So Check it's a chain. Out. So it's a chain. We the local, yeah. This, yeah. No, no. Oh, Coquina, Coquina Mexica. Mexico, yeah. Local is also a chain. There's a local in Kitsilano. Local in West Broadway. You find them everywhere. Yeah. Local in Look at Cornwall the lineup. Street. They Pittsburgh. usually have a bigger patio, but right now it's because of the construction that's next to us that they have a smaller yeah, patio. Look, look at this lineup for. Look at the lineup. It is buzzing over here. We can walk down this little strip yeah. over here too. It's uh, it's gonna be safe. You don't want to go beyond it though. Yeah. There's look definitely the lineup. So again, as the night grows, yeah, uh, night grows on, the crowds get longer and bigger. And there's more activity. So people have just finally started to arrive. It's close to 10 p.m. So people have finally started to arrive. Yeah, so this is the crowd on over here for this bar, bar over here. There's another bar people are going to be heading on in over here. Right on into this place here. Okay, nice. and that's the port side. Yes, just look at that crowd. That's a great crowd. Yeah. So if you look in the very place that's buzzing tonight, the port side is going to be buzzing. It already is. It's just going to continue to go on. And then we can... Uh, there's a soft serve space too. Yeah, soft there's seat. a soft serve here too. Just want to pour it out. This is late, open late too. And there's a couple more bars and restaurants down there if you want to go on down there. But we're going to just bend around the edge here. Yeah, they're important people. There's two different lines for two classes of people. <laughs> That's so normal. <laughs> yeah, this thing's just gonna get crazier and busier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Obviously, a concert out there tonight. More people rolling in. I think that this is where one of the gathering spots for the night for the younger folks down here. Yeah, nice little restaurant on over here too. It's a Greek restaurant. It's There's an Italian one here. Rava de Mata right on over here as well. Local skateboarders. You'll see lots of those guys pop out tonight. With exotic smells, so yeah. <laughs> That's so true. So true. So this is where young people gather. Yeah. Local and around here. Yeah. And let's walk through this thing. Let's go up this side first. Because there's the Blarney over here. Can you not get out of here or gun back or? No. no. Okay. Sure. There's so much going on. Again, people think, like the Gringos is right down there, and that's a giant little alley the down Gringos there. The Gringos right down here, yeah, that's true. I mean, they, don't they have a nice little is new square open? Is there something happening in that alley right now? So I'm wondering. Seems like there's some people going in and out. I know the Gringos is lit. No, the alley is quiet. There's blood alley There's for line you, outside the Gringos, so. Yeah. <laughs> and look at this. This is Smith's on over here. And then you got... Uh, it is there. It's fine. It'll fill up. It'll fill up. And then you got a line over here for the Blarney store. <laughs> Again, it's 10 p.m. It's just going to get busier as night goes on. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It is a dry night. It's 10 degrees only right now. So There's still not tables cold. in there. They must have reservations going yeah? on right now. Okay, let's, uh, let's walk along this side of the street. And then uh, head on back up. On handmade pierogies from Peru. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Work more restaurants and bars. Yeah, lots of different restaurants and bars here. Ukrainian people, restaurant, Kozak. People all overlook this little stretch on over here. This is Kozak, Ukrainian. Yeah. Takofino, another is location West down Cordova here. over Street. Yeah, Takofino is here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they overlook this stretch because it's really close to the downtown east side and east tasting the strip. But uh, you should come down here. You just got to be a little careful. Just mind your own business and everyone else will mind theirs. It's the rules. <laughs> yeah. That's just it. <laughs> and over here you got Greta. 
right on over here. That's our arcade and bar and stuff like that. So that place will fill up a little bit later too. You can see the line is just starting to form outside of Greta. Whatever they're calling seafood, uh, street food. <laughs> Liz is like, where's Chinatown? It's actually Chinatown? pretty close. It's another block. Couple of blocks uh, couple further blocks east. Couple of blocks over, yeah, further east. It's just below the downtown east side. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. And the weather here is like uh, 10 degrees right now. Soda, kitchen, and bar. Yeah. <laughs> That's your dry bar right there, eh? Interesting. Yeah, there's Interesting. dry bars here. <laughs> yeah, the trend of dry bars started happening when the pandemic it rolled in. Lots of people wanted to give up alcohol, which is something I can uh, support if people want to do what they want to do. Their choice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is what it is. Most definitely. I'll walk up over here. Uh, yeah. Abbott, West Cordova. Here's La Casita in the Mexican restaurant right here. <laughs> Actually, let's head on down this way. Okay. And then we'll uh, we'll finish it on up. Okay, because we'll, uh, we wanna go in the gym. we'll figure it out. <laughs> Well, we can figure it out when we have our time. We're just going to finish up out front of the light. Lamp later for folks. <laughs> Let's finish up in front of the gringos. A little, uh, in front of the gringos, yeah. Okay. That little square area, yeah. Well, we're going to head on down Blood Alley for you folks. We are going to break the trash and everything. Yes. So, and believe it or rest. not, we're down a creepy alley right now, but there's a, there's a few restaurants down here that are absolutely awesome. The gringos being... The one. Yeah, I'm the gringo staff right behind us right now. <laughs> Throwing out the trash. This area is called Blood Alley. You do need to watch where you're walking here. There might be rodents standing around. Yeah. <laughs> and broken glass, but it, so long as you're careful, it should be good. <laughs> gringos is And working. then there's a, a meat that's a bar down here that's a chain, and then there's gringos that's also a little chain here. And there's a few other restaurants hidden in this little alleyway here. Like, uh, is that French? Is right here. Is that French? Yeah. Do this place is generally French open up late. And you can see it's just tucked right in here. Then all of a sudden you come on out to this big open plaza. Yeah. And of course, here's one of our little places that we like to come to. Yeah. Our Gringos friends like good. to come down here too. This is uh, Gringos. Awesome, let's finish up. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Come on over here, spend money. They work hard. <laughs> Delicious burritos. Yeah, that's Delicious true. Delicious uh, Pale ale. Anyways, folks, we're going to wrap it up. Thanks for coming along today, and I hope you enjoyed nighttime here on a Friday night in Vancouver. <laughs> Have from a Blood Alley here in Gastown. Thanks for coming on out, and just hit that like button. and help shoot out the live stream to more people. <laughs> I like that. Bye. Mm, talk to you later. I'm all thumbs with this. <laughs> <laughs> We've been walking for a bit. Yeah. Da, 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 da.